Hi, I'm David Stewart. I'm an engineering manager at Intel working in our open source technology center, working on optimizing Open Solaris to make it the best for Intel processors and to make the Intel uh, processors like the Core 2 and Xeon families to be best for uh, working with Open Solaris. And one of the things that's very near and dear to our heart is the area of performance. And uh, in fact, our processor architects, when they're designing new processors, will look at a bunch of different code that's running and look at common code sequences and then take those sequences and create new instructions for the processor which speed those things up. Now, this is great, although if I'm a developer, I'll have to think about, well, how do I use those new instructions? Do I have to, I, mean, I at least have to recompile my application or re-architect it? I know what it's like being a developer. You're constantly under the gun to develop new features and you know, re-architecting my application and analyze for performance changes can take a lot of work. Wouldn't it be nice if I could just get some automatic performance improvement without even having to recompile with just running on the new processor or running on the new uh, version of the operating system? Well, that's exactly what we're trying to do and, and to help you out as a developer to make use of these new instructions without even having to recompile. So how we're doing that is through the area of working in libc, which a lot of our application engineers have told us is an area that by using common libc routines, this is often a, a performance problem. And so uh, we've gone into libc and actually uh, change some of the problem areas to detect if you're on a new processor and then make use of the new instructions on that processor to speed things up. For example, uh, memset and memcopy are a couple of very common routines in which they're copying memory or uh, moving memory and so or setting memory in terms of actually uh, zeroing it out of uh, very common routines. We actually make use now of our streaming SIMD extensions or SSE instructions to optimize these memory operations. Now, we do this work using a micro benchmark, which will uh, compare a bunch of different sizes and alignments. What we found using these micros is we can actually get up to like three times performance improvement over the common sort of versions in libc. This is very exciting, but in fact, for a, a micro benchmark, obviously doesn't necessarily reflect a three times performance improvement of your application. Some benchmarks that we've run with other real applications have shown pretty good performance improvement, maybe 10%. That's pretty good for just uh, no work on your own part, just using the new operating system. Now, this is available for you today in current builds of Open Solaris, eventually to be sh uh, showing up in a Solaris 10 update. We're also working in the area of strings, uh, you know, string length, string copy, string compare. These are all areas uh, that we're looking at, again, using various versions of the uh, SSE instructions, uh, some of them which uh, do uh, string manipulation, so that speeds that up within the processor. Uh, we're also looking at the kernel. Obviously, if you're not a C or C++ developer, if you're you know, coding in Java, or Ruby, or some web stack applications, you won't even necessarily have very good access to, to these instructions. And so we're even speeding up uh, some common uh, kernel routines like uh, B0, B copy, K0, and K copy to use new instructions and seeing what kind of speed up we can get there. Now, very early results are that, again, micro benchmarks just focusing on, on these routines as we're finding even up to a 10 times performance improvement, which is pretty remarkable. Again, we don't expect all applications to start automatically run, running 10 times faster, but we do expect to see some improvement. And so uh, this is an area that's, that's very exciting for us uh, to try and just make the kernel automatically run faster if it's on a newer Intel processor. Um, now, obviously, we can't do all of this ourselves. We really would like your help. We'd like your involvement. We need you to go to opensolaris.org join the community. There are two particular areas where you can participate. One is just make use of Open Solaris and uh, try it out with your applications. See what the difference makes with using these new versions. Um, there's an Intel platform project which you can get involved with and uh, also a performance community which has a, a, a number of projects you can be involved with. So uh, we'd like you to, to really get involved with us in the open source community to, to improve this. Because it's open source, of course, you can actually download the source code yourself of memset memcopy, see what we're doing with new instructions. There's a lot of work that goes into this and so uh, we'd love to get your feedback of maybe how we can improve it uh, and how your applications are uh, impacted, we hope for the better. And we'd like to participate with you and uh, help uh, you know, the Open Solaris uh, community work together to make Intel the best platform to run Open Solaris and Solaris on.